All right, welcome back, and it is Wednesday, so let's do a little cooking here. What do you say? First thing you want to do is scan that QR code. Uh, that will take you directly to a link for today's recipe, which is all about Passover. Happy Passover, everybody celebrating. I uh, reached out to friends and asked them for their grandmothers, their boobies, Passover recipes, and I've got three pretty good ones here today. A Passover brisket, a potato kugel, kind of a potato a casserole and Dr. Stryker's Manischewitz black cherry jello shots. So let me show you what we do here. I'm starting off with a, a beef brisket. This is about four pounds. Uh, you wonder about these strings. I use these from time to time, when, especially when I'm doing something in the slow cooker because this string, when you put it in, makes it easy to move around, in and out, super, super, super easy. So that's why I've got all the strings hanging out here. But Look at how simple this recipe is. It is this uh, chili sauce. This happens to be Heinz chili sauce. And you mix two bottles of it into a bowl with some garlic powder and also good old Lipton onion soup dip mix. Everyone's favorite. Makes a wonderful, wonderful flavor in the whole thing. And then you just give it a good mix until it's all mixed in together and you can't see any of the powders anymore. Now let's pretend that this plastic tub here is your slow cooker. And you've got it set down into the slow cooker already. I'll try to use a, one of those liners. It makes cleanup so much easier when you're cooking it. And then this sauce of what, three ingredients? Just goes into the slow cooker with the brisket. You put it on a low setting in the slow cooker and uh, let it go for, I cooked uh, the one that I'm gonna show you in a second here, I cooked for nine hours. Put it in the slow cooker before I went to bed last night, woke up to some amazing aromas uh, in the house. Okay, nine hours and that's what it winds up. This is what it winds up looking like. It definitely reduces and here's where these strings come in handy. I can just look how easy this is to just lift this right out. And I'm gonna put it on a cutting board. If I was at home right now and serving this, I would let this rest for a little while, 10, 15 minutes. And then what you do, I mean, I can already see that this is falling apart, but the way that you cut a brisket is against the grain and the grain on this is going this way which means I'm going to slice it this way. Look how you can see how tender and juicy this is already. But so it's going to it's going to get cut into slices here. So we'll show you uh, all of that. We'll do that when we have a little more time. But let me show you some of these other recipes. The, another uh, traditional favorite recipe from a friend is potato kugel, and it's basically a potato and onion casserole. It's potato, onion, a couple of eggs. You shred up, really the most time consuming part of this is shredding the uh, russet potatoes and shredding the onion. Uh, in it, there's some salt and pepper, but really not much more. Two eggs and two egg whites that hold it all together, but look how beautiful this is. And you can garnish it if you want with some parsley or uh, some green onion, but that is beautiful. Uh, this is the best recipe of all this week, I think. And uh, I had Dr. Stryker on my WGN radio show this past week, and we were talking about Passover recipes. And uh, she told me what her grandmother <laughs> used to make, a, je a jello black cherry with Manischewitz wine. It's half Manischewitz wine, Concord grape wine, and half water. And then as it begins to solidify after about an hour, she drops in some uh, dark sweet cherries and some pieces of walnut. You know, if you do this in a mold, they kind of just fall until they solidify. I did them as shots. So our uh, crew can all enjoy a little bit of this. But uh, how about this for a fun little Passover uh, treat? Uh, the Manischewitz Black Cherry Jello Shots. Got all the recipes online when you scan the QR code that's on your screen. You can also go to WGNTV.com slash Dean Cooks 
or we automatically send the recipes out when you text the word COOKS to 97999. We'll be right back.